Okay, so we're on to our glossary of key terms now. So for our key terms in the basic model, first of all, we're going to look at a computer system. And we need to define that uh, just in terms of, just to say that it's a combination of hardware and software components that allow input processing and the output of data. The second term is hardware. What do we mean by hardware? Well, it's the physical component. Anything that we can touch in a computer is considered to be hardware. So all the tangible touch that are physical will be hardware. Software is the program that the computer system runs on. And the input devices are hardware hardware devices that take real-world analog data and convert it into a digital form that can be stored in the computer. For example, keyboards, mouse, microphone, webcam, webcams, scanner, sensors, all examples of input devices. Now, output devices are hardware devices that communicate to us. They show us something. For example, uh, a monitor, printers, speakers, projectors, actuators all show us something and they output data from the computer system and that's completes our basic model key terms the last key terms we're going to look at relate to the importance of computers and the first one is reliability now that's simply how much we can depend on the computer system bef being available when you need it and this is usually measured in terms of its availability Availability is our second term, and availability is simply the proportion of time that our system is operational. And this is usually expressed as a percentage over a certain period of time, for example, 95% measured over a year. The third term is MTBF. This is an acronym that stands for Mean Time Between Failures. And this is simply a measure of availability often quoted by the hardware manufacturers. For example, three years between failures means that on average the hardware can be expected to last three years before anything goes wrong. The fourth term is redundancy and this is simply the spare components that are built into the system in case something goes wrong at which point the spare, spare components will take over from the ones that misfire. The last key term that we have to know is disaster recovery and this is where a company has plans to replace the system quickly if something goes wrong. So if there's a catastrophe like a fire, a flood, a bomb hooliganism, vandalism or any sort that stops the system from working then there is a plan that sort of comes into action to minimise the time that the system is down